you'll find yourself working all the time. And that's no bueno for anyone. I'm thinking about work right now. I was thinking about work before I got here. I'm gonna think about work after I leave here. I'm Emma, this is my co-host Sam, and we're going to talk about how to develop boundaries so you can maintain that good work-life balance. Because after all, Americans are terrible at balancing the work-life balance. Most entrepreneurs, when they're not working, they're still thinking about work. I'm thinking about work right now. I was thinking about work before I got here. I'm going to be thinking about work after I leave here. I must be an American. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Sam. As you know, I struggle with maintaining a good work-life balance. So what do you have for me? What advice? Well, it's important that you properly prioritize your time. Make a to-do list. So I like to break it up into four categories. Urgent and important. Bills. It's important that you pay those bills on time so that your business won't have any stops in the process. Second, important but not urgent. Email communication. You want to make sure you stay in touch with your clients and you let them know that you value their time. Next is urgent but not important. You know, things that just pop up out of the blue that you want to take care of that day, but it doesn't have to happen right now. And last but not least, not urgent and not important. Just everyday tasks. You know, say grocery shopping, that can always wait. All right, Sam. So I hear all the time, at least the advice I've been given is, hey, I'm up. Play to your strengths. And it took me a while to figure that out. Um, so, for example, bookkeeping, not one of my strengths. Pleasing our customers with great coffee and a good time on the ramps at Coffee and Kickflips, that is one of my strengths. So play into that, the customer service, being around my business, being present. As for the bookkeeping, the finances, I outsource that. Perfect. You know, you don't have to do everything. The benefit of having multiple people on your team is that you can, as you said, play to your strengths. The next thing is, it's important to set work hours and stick to them. Because if you don't, you'll find yourself working all the time. And that's no bueno for anyone. Look, you're gonna get burned out. And I know as a local hero, you are passionate about what you do. But to maintain that, to let it flourish, let it grow, you gotta think about the work-life balance and turn off. So next tip is actually having a set workspace. In order to you know, make sure that this is viable for you, invest in equipment that really supports you because having a set workspace keeps work in its place. Next tip is take a break. All right. Well, not right now. Oh, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> but about a 15 minutes or so, you know, take a walk away, stretch, relax, and make sure that you know you're bringing your full self back to what you're doing. Yeah, that's good advice because it keeps you clear, more focused, and more present. So next is take time off. It's important to, you know, work time off and, you know, maybe quarterly and, you know, work that time in so that you can refresh and recharge. Or what I'm classic for doing, just take a long weekend. Get out. I had a pretty cool experience where I went out of town. I did a long weekend, left work at Friday morning and went out to Palm Springs. And what was even more cool is it was a themed party, beach goth. So getting into character of things you never normally would also really helps maintain the work-life balance. Talk about a vacation. Yes. Felt longer than a long weekend. And the next thing is do what you love. You know, focus on those things that, you know, really make you tick, your passion work. So that when you're on that, you're just on that. Don't think about the other things that you have to do, the to-do list. Focus on the passion. All right, Sam, this is all really great advice. And I'm just curious to know, what do you love doing outside of your career? Well, I enjoy going to the movies. I'm a big movie buff. I love those theaters where, you know, you order your food and they bring it to you. You can Ooh. recline in your seat. Everything you need in one place. Exactly. And my last point is check in with yourself. Make sure that you're eating right, exercising regularly, and also getting enough sleep because you want to make sure that you take care of the whole person to have that proper balance in your life. I went to boxing class. I ate vegan pizza. And I averaged about eight hours of sleep each night. Lucky her. Speaking of that, comment below. Let us know how do you unwind. Also, be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell so you're the first to know about our next video. This is The Journey. We'll see you next time.